In this video, we're going to talk about how we can create a uh, three different tables uh, for storing users' data as well as sessions' persistent data. The first table is going to be storing the session and users' data, and then the uh, second and third one is going to be the uh, tables to store sessions, uh, persistent sessions. The first table called users. We have this script called create table if not exist users. You all know this. If you have uh, PHP my admin, you can go ahead and start creating this by uh, using the interface, like uh, choosing this uh, database and then using this. So uh, first thing we're going to do is just let's just uh, log in again and minimize this, and then explain to you what what's going on. Uh, the user key we're going to use as a primary key and uh, the reason why we, we didn't use this ID as well as auto increment is because when you're using an ID for sessions uh, you know if you assuming that you probably have a hacker really uh, smart hacker so he or she is going to realize that the first call is going to be ID and then you're using this ID to target uh, the users as well as you probably going to use this user key or ID uh, to generate a token. So it's not suitable to store IDs like one, two, three, four, like integer numbers uh, because a hacker can target any of them, uh, maybe 99 or maybe 82 and then use the user's uh, primary key to use the user's key and then access to the site. So you're not using a pro, uh, auto increment and you're using a character eight and uh, this is gonna generate the different characters like uh, numbers and letters uh, combination uh, and then use it as a primary key. And it's gonna be unique, uh, it's gonna be different. Uh, you could go ahead and add unique but this is not necessary. We have this username as well as user key. So this is prim our primary key, and then we, this is our username. We have workcard 30, so a 30 string, and then it's going to be not null and then unique, uh, which uh, re indicates that the username is unique, so two, diff two, two same username won't be accessible to use. The second thing is going to be PWD. You can call it anything you want, maybe password, and then the var card 255. The reason we're using this uh, var card 255 is because we're using PHP 5.5 password hash, and this is only requires 60 character, not more. But PHP documentation says because password hash will be changed probably in the future, it's better to use 255 character instead of 60 characters. The second table is session table, sessions table. And uh, the first thing you see is instead of ID, we call this SID, so different than ID. Uh, as you might already notice, I didn't use any ID at all for our table storing the database. So SID is going to be our ID with the work card 40 uh, primary key. And uh, this is going to be session ID, with the 40 characters. I haven't uh, come across to session with uh, more than 40 characters. We have expiry date, expiry uh, which is going to be unassi unsigned. Unsigned means, uh, you know, unsigned means uh, po positive numbers, not negative numbers. So integer 10 and then positive numbers, not no. And then we have our data. Uh, we're going to store the session's data in here. And then the, uh, the last one is is going to be used for auto login. We have our user key, exactly the same thing at the top. So these two are composite keys, or in the other word, we call this join table. So these two are user key, which is going to, uh, you know, connect will be connected to the users table. Doesn't really necessarily need uh, foreign keys, but this is represent this user key, and then the token represent the SID, which is right here. But uh, the token really is going to be different than anything you uh, have for the session ID. So this is going to be something different. It's not represented there. So these two are representing our primary keys or maybe composite key. And then we have create timestamp, not no default, and it's going to be current timestamp. So uh, this is not uh, uh, fillable by us or system. 
this is something that MySQL is going to uh, update it itself, maybe inset date itself by current timestamp whenever you update it or create uh, any field here. And we have our data uh, as a text, so we're storing the sessions data here. This is not really necessary uh, because every time you garbage collect the sessions data uh, and then generate the new one, um, really this is not going to be then necessary. But we're going to go ahead and insert both of them to show you how you can use them. And then we have this use, which is a Boolean value. Boolean value in MySQL represents the tiny int. Zero means uh, false and one means true. And then we have add not no and then default is zero. So this is always going to be zero unless you change it to one. Then the primary key at the end are going to be users, user key and the token. These two columns I was talking about. And last but not least, if your database don't support InnoDB, which is uh, uh, an engine uh, in MySQL to support transactions, like a bank system, you can go ahead and instead of InnoDB, copy this MySAM, uh, my and then maybe you can uh, select all of these and then paste it right here, change it. Really, it doesn't, doesn't make any difference, but I usually use this InnoDB. So let's go ahead and select all of these and copy this. Go back to our database. First thing you need to do is just select your database in order to um, you know, paste the script. And then choose SQL here and then paste all of that. Uh, oh, you can, you can paste the comments. These are comments. Comments start with uh, double dashes. And it's not going to make any difference. The script will be read. Uh, or maybe you can go ahead and import. Let's just import this for you to be able to see it much better. Let's go to section three, folder number seven, because this is video number seven, and then we have this persistent SQL. Select this and then scroll down and hit go. And the import has been successfully finished, four queries executed, and then you can see uh, tables listed on the left-hand side here. If I click on user, users, and then go to the structure, you can see we have a user key and then underline, which means this is a primary key. And uh, three other, uh, two other columns. We have our sessions, structure. Then you can see that SID is a primary key. And then as well as auto login, structure. You can see these two have been selected as a primary key. So these are the composite key. If you don't know how to use composite key, you might go ahead and use any other courses in Udemy to, um, you know, work more about MySQL to realize what composite key or join table are. So our table are ready and we can go ahead and insert some data in the next video.